excitement. How are you guys coping up with that? Well, I know that we are all eagerly waiting for the T20 World Cup 2023, and I'm here with the squad analysis of England. So let's get started in the outside view, powered by Elista. Smart aura India. Jaise India me bana Elista Smart LED TV with world class clarity and amazing features. So England are currently the number two ranked team in the T20Is. They are the inaugural winners. A lot to expect from this team. So let's see how their score looks like for this T20 World Cup 2023. So Nat Siver has returned as the vice captain of the England setup. Nat Siver had taken a mental health break and wasn't the part of the series versus India at home. Then she returned for the West Indies series but did not take up the responsibility of being the vice captain because she wanted to enjoy her cricket and she did enjoy her cricket with a lot of good performances against West Indies there. But now you're going to see her take up that responsibility of vice captaincy. Alice Capsi has been included in the England setup now. She's recovering from her collarbone injury there but the team wants to give her all the chance and that's a good addition in the squad Alice Capsi isn't it? Apart from this, the management has pretty much went ahead with their group of four players. The names are similar, not a lot of new names are there in the squad. But who will be the key players for England in this T20 World Cup? Let's have a look. Well, I will just start it with Natalie Sivo. In the ODI World Cup, we saw that she was fighting in the finals. She was the lone warrior and we've seen her do that for England on so many occasions. Not just with the bat, with the ball as well. She's the ICC Player of the Year 2022, ODI Player of the Year as well, has a good form by her side there. And it's the ease that she brings on to the 22 yards when she comes into bat or ball, definitely one of the important players for England in this tournament. Next up, we're going to talk about Catherine Brunt. Well, 100 plus T20 ice, 100 plus wickets. The aggression, the passion, the perfect package that you would want in your team. And that's Catherine Brunt. With the new ball, she has all the abilities and experience to ask difficult questions to the batters. And they would be preparing to face Catherine Brunt in this tournament. Because once she is in the best of her rhythm, it gets very difficult for the batters to settle on the field. And if she gets those early wickets in T20 eyes, mind you, getting those early wickets is very important for any team. And Catherine Brunt knows how to do it well. Well, there are so many players actually. The skipper herself, Heather Knight, with all the experience she has coming and handling the team in the middle overs there. Of course, Sophie Eckenston, the number one T20i bowler. You know that the spinner has been dominating the proceedings for England and we cannot just skip her name. Also, there is Sophia Dunkley. Now, she finished as the highest run getter in the series against West Indies. She has shown a lot of promise uh, for England ever since she has debuted for England. So it would be interesting to see how Sophia Dunkley also makes most of the opportunities that she would receive in this T20 World Cup 2023. Now, who can be that X-Factor player for England? Well, I feel that it can be Charlie Dean. Always good to have an off-spinning all-rounder in your side, isn't it? She has performed really well in the domestic circuits, owing to which she has got opportunities at the international level. A lot of talent is what she possesses and also we know that she finished as the highest wicket-taker in the series against West Indies. Not only that, she was also the player of the series. Comes in quite handy with the bat as well. And in the T20I format of the game, we know that it's always good for any team to bat deep out there. So it will be interesting to see how Charlie Dean performs in this tournament. Let's talk about England's fixtures, where they are placed. England is placed in Group 2. So they are placed in Group 2 alongside India, Ireland, Pakistan and West Indies. They will play their first game of this tournament against West Indies then Ireland, then India, then, and later with Pakistan. It's time to know where they would finish, uh, well, if that prediction is to be taken into consideration. I feel England might make it to the semi-finals. They have a team that looks lethal at this moment. The, the strength that they have in terms of Heather Knight, Natalie Siver, Catherine Brunt, Sophie Eccleston out there, they are the players who know how to handle pressure as well. So there is a challenge, of course, considering the group that they are placed in. They have India as well there, but I feel England might get an edge over there and make it to the semis. What can be England's playing 11 against West Indies? Let's have a look. Again, you won't see a lot of changes out there because those are the obvious names that you see at the top order. Very important it would be that Danny White performs well, 
with the bat there of course you have heather knight natalie sewer katherine brunt sophie eccleston leading the pack with spinners if there's katherine brunt who's leading the pack with her pace bowling there tell me do you agree with this playing 11 do you see any changes out there what are your prediction on where is england going to finish in this tournament in the comment section below for all the updates on women's cricket stay tuned to women's quick zone and to our segment the outside view powered by elist smart ho raha hai india जैसे इंडिया में बना एलिस्टा स्मार्ट एलईडी टीवी विद वर्ल्ड क्लास क्लैरिटी एंड अमेजिंग फीचर्स